Hello learners, my name is teacher Jonathan and welcome to Easy Elimo Learning Simplified. In our lesson for today, grade 4 mathematics, we'll be working with algebra and today we'll be forming algebraic expressions. We'll be forming algebraic expressions and in our previous lesson, we learned how to use or to represent numbers using letters. How to represent numbers using letters and we used just bananas, we represent them with letter B. And we learned how to, we can represent also other items using letters because we do not know the number of that item. So we used letters instead. And today we will be forming algebraic expressions. And for us to start is how can you simplify algebraic expression? How can you simplify algebraic expression? expression. For more on this, join me and in our pairs, just observe, I have th some bananas here, and some oranges, sorry, I have some oranges. So let me just say we have oranges. We have oranges. So which letter can we use to represent or to show? We can show oranges by letter O. Let me choose O to show oranges. We can show oranges by letter O. So we have O oranges, the number of oranges that we have. Then again, we have some mangoes. We have mangoes with me. So we can also show or use a letter to show the mangoes. So mangoes, for mangoes, we can use letter M to show mangoes. We can use letter M to show mangoes. So those are the two items that we have. Now, in our groups, learners, in our groups, how can we show the number of items that we have all together? How can we show the number of items that we have all together? Now we want to bring them on board. And showing the number of items all together, we use a letter or an arithmetic expression called addition. So, because we are bringing them together. So, we can say we have M oranges, M mangoes. We have M mangoes. We have, we can say we have M mangoes because we are bringing them together. How many fruits do we have? So, the number of fruits we have said we have zero oranges. Or we have all oranges. And the number of mangoes we have, we have M oranges. And we want to bring them together. So, the total number of fruits that we have the total number of fruits that we have the total number of fruits that we have we have o oranges and m mangoes this is the total of fruits that we have o oranges and m mangoes and now this total number of items or the fruits that we have this now o oranges and m mangoes we call it algebraic expression algebraic expression. We call it algebraic expression. This is an expression. Now we have said, I'm repeating, we had number of oranges. We were representing them with, them with O. So we had O oranges. Number of mangoes, we are representing them with M mangoes. So let us bring these fruits all together. So we have O oranges and M mangoes. And this is what we call algebraic expression. That is what we call algebraic expression. Now, in our groups, learners, I would like us also to do the following. Now, Victoria, Victoria, Victoria has the following. And the following that we have, let me take away or put aside these ones and bring this with me. And bring this with me. We have pears and bananas. You can identify them. We have pears and bananas. And let me show what we have here. Remember in our previous lesson, we learned how we can represent bananas. So Victoria, Victoria, Victoria has two bananas, two B, that is for bananas, bananas. That is what Victoria has. Victoria has two B bananas. And Jen, 
Jane has, Victoria has those two B bananas and Jane has three P pairs. Remember we are using letters to represent the number of items that they have. Now, learners, let us now show the number of bananas which they have and we have said they are two B bananas and three P for pairs. Now, how many fruits do Jen and Victoria have all together? How many fruits do Jen and Victoria have all together? And by bringing them together, we'll be forming an algebraic expression. And this is how we'll do it. Now, the number or the total number of fruits will be 2B plus, because we are using that addition sign, plus 3P pairs. That is the algebraic expression that we have formed. And this is the algebraic expression. It becomes our answer. Now, learners, we can also do more on this. How we form algebraic expression using the numbers or letters, and then we bring them together to form an algebraic expression like the way we have here. Can we try? Can we try solving a task? Can we try solving a task? Can we try to solve a task? And a task you will be solving is forming algebraic expressions. Number one, form an algebraic expression. Victoria, Victor, Victor has four B balls, has four B balls, has also C cups. He also has C cups and three T tomatoes. Now, how many items do Victor have? How many items? Items does Victor have? Does Victor have? Remember, you are bringing them all together. You are forming algebraic expression. So, work out the way we have done the first and the two examples. The second one, the second one, Wangari. Wangari has G gods. He has, she has also T ships. She has T ship. T ship. And also, and S cows. S cows. How many animals does she ask? How many animals? How many animals does she have? How many animals does she have? Those are our two tasks for you to do. We are forming algebraic expression the way we have done it. Learners, you can also continue doing more practice at home, form different algebraic expressions using different items and objects that are found in your locality. Hope you've enjoyed the lesson. Meet again. Bye-bye.